But what's the latest that we know and how quickly can they resume full operation? Hi Heidi. Look, uh, we've had a little bit of a quiet, well, we haven't had a lot basically out of JBS at the moment, which is kind of frustrating people um, who are trying to gauge what the exact supply chain disruptions might actually be. But it does look like good news with all of the plants coming back into operation in the US. Australia, it's a bit of a mixed picture. We've heard that there's a plant in Tasmania, which is up and running again, but we haven't heard much else apart from that, to be honest. The other thing we have heard as well, there might be increased manual processes mm. in the US, which is... Um, Kind of a interesting oh, for workers coming back to totally, to work. totally, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how that pans out uh, tomorrow in America. So how global uh, was the impact here? Do we have any more clues? You mentioned North America and Australia. What about other regions? Yeah, I mean. JBS is the biggest meat producer, so you can expect this to, to ricochet globally. Uh, a country that's probably going to be quite hard hit is China, surprisingly. Uh, they account for a third of JBS's export revenue, uh, so any hold-up at all is really going to hit China quite hard, especially because they are the world's biggest beef consumer. Um, and that's been going up since, of course, the African swine fever has wiped out uh, pork supplies in that country. So uh, China, it, it could look like they will be suffering maybe some higher prices there with What's beef. What's the supply chain hold up? And I suppose this is coming at a time where we're seeing inflationary pressures across a lot of agri-products, right? Does it really raise concerns about broader food security as well? Yeah, absolutely. It just feeds into that story that we've been seeing for the past few months now of higher food prices globally. Um, and it, this is just another hurdle for, for uh, economies to overcome. Uh, it's, it's not a good one. Uh, it's one that probably wasn't foreseen by much of, much of the world. But uh, yeah, it definitely feeds into to those fears about food, food price inflation.